Hey everybody, guess what? Fishing in Oscoda is back! <laughs> actually, come to think of it, I don't think the fish actually ever went anywhere. Oh well. Oh, I got me a marlin! It's a big one. Now, even though what I just said doesn't make much sense, it's true. Fishing in Oscoda is better than ever, and anglers from all over are grabbing their rods and reels and reeling them in in record numbers. If you're a fishing fan, this is an area you need to plan to come to. And if you want to be in the know, in these parts, there's a place you need to go, and that's Wellman's Bait and Tackle. It's where owner Roger Byrne is living his dream by sharing his love of this slippery sport with the entire world. There's something zen about fishing. Um, I haven't discovered it yet because I'm a terrible fisherman, but we, we talked earlier and you were explaining how this really is your dream. Yeah. To have this shop, why? Um, I mean, it started back in childhood. It was just the thing I fell in love with, um, especially salmon and steelhead fishing. Yeah. Dad took me out fishing once and hooked a big old fish and, oh no, you're fighting this one on your own type story and landed it and it was an accomplishment. Now, why did you choose Wellman's? This, I mean, this is an institution, right? This is this is a cornerstone in the salmon fishing east side, period. It, it's one of the originals, and anybody that's fished Lake Huron knows what Wellman's is. Yeah, when you come in here and you see all this stuff that you're telling me is made by Michigan anglers, right? Yeah, the the large. Well, this this section is all Michigan uh, Michigan fishermen that's living their dream. Making right. Michigan tackle. And a uh, lot of the stuff you said is hand painted. Yeah, these beads in this whole corner, these lures up top, they're hand painted. And this is this is garage, you know, making their own paint booth production. This isn't, you know, large scale running them through a machine. This is tedious. Plus they're 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 people that know these know this area, they know the water, they know the fish. I don't know if it's by name. Tell me about the guys that, that, that do this. For the bead section, this is what I would call the new generation myself in that. It's salmon steelhead fishermen that love that that traditional style, but they've found different ways. On the spoon side, that's more of exactly what we talked about a little earlier. These are tried and true since you know 1970 patterns that guys had been out there and tried every color, every combination, every shape, every size and they've narrowed it down to a pattern and just the way it swims through the water. And that's why I like to, to use these. So you guys sell bait here, obviously. Uh, yep. um, but even if you're not a fisherman, people come in here for all kinds of yeah. edible fish stuff. Correct, correct. This, this store has evolved over the years. Yeah. It started in 72. Um, and when fishing died, the base closed because there was the Air Force Base. Um, they've, they've always been able to find themselves and, and reinvent themselves to become. Um, all their recipes on smoked fish are original. I've kept those and continued them. Um, we've got a, a very large red meat selection that we get from U.S. beef that's aged. Um, one of the better selections in northern Michigan for sure. Um, and we try to be creative. We come out with different things. We've got a whitefish sausage. We've got a lake trout sausage. We do our own beef jerkies. We do our own hunter sticks. We smoke venison for customers during deer season. Yeah. Any charters out of this area? Uh, we're, we're, yes. There's two that are original. Yeah. Um, we're up to five now. Uh, again, as the lake gets healthier and healthier, we're seeing an influx in that. Um, even local neighborhoods to us, Talos, Harrisville, they're seeing increases in charter boat captains and fishing. And with the lake levels being higher, it's easier now because the fish are closer. Correct, correct. And then in the river systems, there's oh. charters for that as well. You know, um, that's a, it's a different style of fishing, so it takes a different captain to, to learn that. So there, there are charters that do that as well. So if it's someone that doesn't like going out in the big water, has a tendency to get sick, there's an option in the river system. Would you teach me how to fish? Absolutely. Really? Why not? Deal. I'm telling you, Roger and this place are so legit that they even have a fish scaler in back made out of an old beer keg and the fish cooterie boards they make up here will be the absolute hit of your next post fishing party. Like I said in the intro of the show, this is a fishing tale that's absolutely true. So instead of talking about the one that got away, make your way to Wellman's Bait and Tackle in Oscoda. They've got everything you need to fool the fish right into your freezer.